hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is evelyn if you're new here welcome 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 um thank you so much for stopping by if you are a recurring subscriber welcome thank you so much and so in this video i'll be talking about things to bring along when you're coming to germany to study so if you like to watch please stay tuned so um Travels are beginning to happen. Schengen visas are being issued now. Embassies are still issuing visas on the basis that you are already vaccinated, fully vaccinated. Um, and so, I got a, re a request to um, state the things that one can bring along when traveling to Germany, um, especially to tra to study. So I'll be talking about the things that you you need to bring along when um traveling to germany for your studies so number one your personal documents remember to bring your personal documents and make sure that it is handy like it is really really accessible because you're going to be asked what you're going to do why you're going and all that apart from the fact that you are granted visa you need to have your like letter of um, what's it called now offer of admission and your documents and all that that were issued to you you need to add have that like in a file very close by maybe in your backpack or and luggage something that you can quickly bring out and show custom or people on the flight whoever it is that ask for it so do not forget your documents university documents um offer of admission documents all those documents are that yeah that allows you to that shows that you are actually um going to study because since you are entering germany which is student visa you need those documents so you need your um visa you need your id card you need your passport of course that is still valid you need your travel insurance that is really important you need your travel insurance yeah you, yeah you need your vaccine card if you're vaccinated you need your vaccine card you need your university of our admission we need your proof of la language proficiency that was like if you did like a proof of language proficiency to get your admission so you need all those documents that shows that you are going to travel you are going to study now the next big thing are your clothes your clothes even though i really advise that if you're coming in winter try not to bring so much winter clothes from your country because no matter what especially if you are coming from a warm country like mine like from nigeria you might not really get the quality that you want like or that it is that is accessible here and i'll just say that just try to bring a few that you can wear depending the time that you set to get an accommodation set down before you are able to buy i would rather say instead of like investing in so much money buying winter jackets and stuff like that just bring the money it's even easier to get here and you would even get a very very good quality at a very cheap price compared to how much you're going to buy it in your country except if maybe you're coming from a country that experiences winter then you can bring your um your clothes that you wear there but if you're coming from a warm country like Nigeria or from an African country which is very warm I would suggest you just bring one or two jackets and thermal wears and maybe one or two winter boots then when you come you can then settle and then start to buy them little by little however you still need clothes <laughs> you still need clothes you still need normal clothes that you wear in your country because you're, you have to be layering up because of the cold you have to like wear and wear and wear depending on um the weather thanks so you need your clothes so make sure you bring like um a jacket lot of tops trousers underwears don't forget your underwears like you need socks you need um neck scarves you need um hand gloves you need jackets belts and all that so you can maybe like buy like two or three pairs to bring along so when you come you can then now when you set you can then start shopping for that but do not forget you still need to bring some clothes you need to bring some clothes next is your toiletries like i my mom in law bought us even toothbrush and i quite understand because of the fact that 
it's not really new in land that you'll be looking for where to get to the brush or to paste even though you are going to so you are going to a new country but you still need your personal stuff like things that you're used to using where you're coming from or in your country your homeland so your toothbrush your toothpaste your toiletries shaving stuff um deodorant your shampoo your perfume moisturizer lip balm lipstick foundation makeup like i used my makeup for a very long time a very long time a very i think i even finished it safe my makeup brush my makeup my foundation my concealer i intentionally bought them when i was coming because i knew that number one i was even coming to a country that do not speak english so before i start thinking about the language let me first i bought a lot of things that like my my makeup i made sure i brought new makeup before i left then i brought makeup brush makeup bag my son's like what's all this i'm like yeah <laughs> because i don't want to start looking for makeup the week that i land so i used my makeup till it finished then i started shopping or start, started looking for makeup of my color so you need those things so depending the time you settle down and you already you now know um stores that you can walk in confidently and buy or replace those things but pending that time because if you're landing for school especially lecture starts almost immediately and so you might not even have the time to start entering stores one by one to start looking for uh, i forgot my nail clipper or my moisturizer is finished or my cleanser or my lip balm or my lotion or something like that so you need to bring all those things so that um yeah you need to bring them along also do not forget your health um stuff for instance, if you are, you are on prescription prescription drugs, prescription medication, do not forget because um, depending the time you get a doctor to diag diagnose what it is that you are going through, you need your prescription and the prescription drugs. So don't forget the prescription because you you don't know maybe the drug that you are taking um, is not allowed in the country that you are going to without prescription so do not forget your prescription and the tablets you know for instance if you have allergies or you react to some stuff make sure you bring them along because many time you get a doctor you set to your health insurance stuff you need to keep going like you need to keep taking your medications you need to keep taking them so if you have like prescription drugs and yeah make sure you bring them and make sure it is handy actually maybe you can put them in your hand luggage so that you can have access to it when you're boarding and make sure it's always close by next i'll move on to food food stuff um even though as an african there are african stores here in germany but it took a while for me to locate one like it took a while for instance i landed here in november i don't think i ever I ever went to any um, any African store until almost a year later and I didn't I tried to check and check where we we're living before to see if there was anyone around I did not get anyone and so we kept eating like living off what I brought even though my husband was like don't bring so much they might stop here at the custom but I was able to bring a little and that was all we ate till I was able to till it finished actually and then someone was now someone now sent me a link like oh there are african stores around and it took almost a year almost 12 months for me to locate that i'm not saying that there are no foods available in germany that you can eat but if you're like just to get in touch with um like you can you can just try to bring like some of your food stuff from nigeria like things that you know that might be be, be difficult to get maybe some dried fish for us Nigerians, maybe crayfish, low-cost beans if you eat it, dried fish, what else, yam flour, pound dough, all the uh, swallow flours that we usually use, crayfish, those things are available, you can actually get them in African stores, but they are quite pricey, yeah, it's right for a student who is living off uh, his or her blocked account, so you can I would even rather say that that should like contribute to majority of your luggage because that's what you're going to be living of, of well of course there are supermarkets around that sells groceries and all that but you know coming from where you're coming from before you adapt 
to um foods that are sold here and stuff like that you might want to bring one or not even one you might want to bring a lot of food stuff like yeah fish locust beans what else do we bring now yeah stuff like that that you know that oh you know in your mind that it will be scarce where you're going to so you can try to bring that in um i know that you can bring food my friend just came back from nigeria and she was it was okay she was allowed to bring in food in our food stuff of course of course not liquids and all but dried stuff make sure it is tied in a nylon it is sealed in a nylon um evidence and open for everyone to see even when your bag is being checked at custom or at the airport or wherever but you can try to like bring in dried fish or some of the food stuff that you know that might not be readily available you know yeah also don't forget your personal belongings for instance your phone your phone charger your laptop your laptop charger your ipad your diary your notebook and all that you might feel that i'm going somewhere i'm going to another country i don't need it but those those are things that feel really personal to you you know so it might take a while for you to get where you get a phone charger for me now i used my laptop charger till it got spoiled and i was like gosh what am i going to do <laughs> it took a while for me to be able to replace it when i just landed i was like i i set it down before i now went out to like get a new one and if you're going to be using it for studies you need it so just bring it along if you, that is if you have one if you have one just bring it along just say oh i'm going to get it there because really relocation and settling down is not a small issue you'll be dealing with a lot you'll be dealing with registration you'll be doing it at Meldon. you'll be dealing with insurance your health insurance you'll be doing with school stuff getting um um orientated getting orientation getting to know the courses you're going to do it's quite a lot so just try to bring as much as as much personal stuff as you can also try to know the type of luggages or what is accepted because it should not be nice if you're turned back at the airport for instance if you already packed like two twenty three kgs from home and then you go to the airport and the airport is like oh no it's just one and it's just 15 kg that is allowed on air when when i was coming i think um the flight that was booked was um was was accommodated um 23 223 kgs and one 10 kg and even when we got there when we weighed it it was way more than 23 kg way way more so we had to thank god i went with my mother-in-law and my mom so we had to start removing stuff removing stuff at the airport you might know you you really don't want that to happen especially if you're the only one going to the airport because who are you going to give i was going to throw stuff away so um make sure you also wait at home like weight at home and make sure it is even less if they are seen 23 kg maybe you should target 20 kg because who knows the scale at the airport might be malfunctioning or something you it's, it's better you like it's a bit lower or than it is higher and then you have to like toss off stuff and like just let it go to waste so make sure you know what exactly is acceptable for some airlines they don't even allow um and luggages they just allow you to check in into the check in your big luggages and just bring like a backpack so make sure you know what exactly because it should be so confusing and so frustrating for you to get to the airport and they're saying oh you can't bring and luggage just backpack and if you have important stuff there like how like just try to know and usually written on your flight ticket so try to like go through it me i just try to target airlines that give as much luggage as possible and if i can pay for more i go ahead and pay for more because i know that the bag i'm going to be carrying is going to be a lot <laughs> you know so try to know um what exactly you are allowed to carry and lastly try to start packing early try to start packing early packing your stuff early will really really help you really so you don't forget stuff relocating is not a small deal like it's really a big deal especially because you are going to be gone for a long time so you need to know what exactly is important and what exactly you need to take along because 
of course you have a lot of things but then you really need to know what exactly you want to take along you want to sieve through all your journals which one you want to take along you want to sieve through all your makeup or your face um, routine stuff your lotions which one exactly is more important to you you also want to like um, go to the market and buy stuff that you really want exactly like buying buying your clothes buying your food stuff packing disposing of stuff if you're like maybe you're living in an apartment and you have to let the apartment go so I would say try to start packing early so that you don't miss out some stuff that you're supposed to bring yeah so so with that i've come to the end of this video i wish you all the best in your travel please drop a comment in the comment comment section if you find if you found this useful i'll be looking forward to your comments remember to give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel if you're yet to do so and i'll see you on my next one bye